The story of the Long Acting Therapy Clinic is one which started when I began my career here at Memorial Regional Hospital. As a clinical pharmacy specialist, one of the things I noticed is a huge need for access to these long-acting injectable antipsychotics. So for a long time, we would have patients being admitted and they would leave on a stable dose of a particular medication and within a short period of time, they were re-hospitalized usually within 30 days and for the most part, most of these patients were re-hospitalized. It was because they had a lack of access to these medications. Nevertheless, one of the things we encountered was that these patients, while many of them wanted to be on this medication, either didn't have a location where they could receive the medication, so they didn't have a doctor's office which would actually administer the medication. Uh, additionally, a lot of them had problems with their insurance, so if you want to initiate this medication, there's a lot of different hoops one has to go through to get it approved by their insurance company. And lastly, even if there is a location which administers these medications to keep the patient adherent to the regimen, what happens is that they're not monitoring the patients for a variety of side effects that can occur and for the efficacy we're looking for in this patient population. Um, last contribution to uh, decreasing, to, to, to addressing the recidivism rate in patients with uh, chronic mental illness has been profound. Uh, uh, I know that patients who are treated with long-acting antipsychotic medications have significantly less uh, uh, rehospitalization rates, uh, and the lab clinic apparently appears to take that a step further and result in even lower recidivism rates. So clearly it's not just that they're providing an antipsychotic medication intramuscularly that is present for two or four weeks. They're, they are also engaging with the patients in a personal level and building relationships that are meaningful to the patients and patients' families enough to uh, uh, encourage ongoing uh, compliance with appointments and medications. So clearly what they are doing is uh, something more than just providing a, a medication every couple of weeks. One of our, one of our stories is uh, this girl, 28 year old, that came to us when we started the clinic two years ago. Um, it was incredible how to, she was very nervous, she was very anxious, she was very disorganized. Uh, all the communication was with her family because she was not able to communicate with us. Um, she was extremely afraid of the shots and at that time I had to go and hold her hand for her to be able to get the shot and she was very afraid. The year after I looking at her and talking to her and I'm seeing that she's coming by herself. She is very grateful with the medication. She doesn't need her family's you know help anymore. Our communication is directly with her. She's not disorganized, she's not as anxious. And with the time I start noticing that instead of pressing my hand so hard, she was letting it loose like slowly. And to the point, today's day, we were talking during her last visit that I barely had to hold her hand.